video, we're going to see how to protect an asset, unprotect an asset, and also to restore an asset. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select from the categories net backup. Uh, we'll then be uh, seeing just the uh, services that apply to uh, net backup. First of all, we'll have a look at protect an asset. When I select that, we are presented with a form. First of all, I need to choose the asset group uh, that we're going to uh, select the uh, machine from. Uh, so I'm going to select in this case VMware London and we're going to choose the asset type as VMware. Once I do that, uh, ServiceNow will then go away and uh, give, pull back a uh, list of all of the uh, machines that uh, are VMware for London. And we can go and select a machine on here that isn't protected. Let's pick the top one. Uh, and for further down the screen, we can see that we can come in and choose a protection plan. Uh, here we've got the uh, offer of either a weekly or a daily one. Uh, so let's add this into a weekly one. Uh, when we do uh, click on these, uh, we get to view what the schedules are, what the attributes are, that particular backup. If I wanted to see uh, daily, uh, we could also uh, view the, the details of that as well. Uh, so let's add this into daily and I'll click on submit. Uh, when we do that, the uh, normal service now request process takes over and uh, we'll be presented shortly with a sort of a flash bar up here. Uh, and I can click on that just to view the progress of that request in the normal sort of way. And that will update uh, as that uh, request is pushed through. Okay, so let's go back and uh, unprotect that asset. So again, I'm going to go into the service catalog. I'm going to select the uh, net backup services. And I'm going to come over here onto the right uh, to unprotect an asset. Again, I need to choose the uh, asset group. So we're going to select the VMware for London and the asset type of uh, VMware. Uh, ServiceNow is just going away and thinking. It's going to pull back a list of all, all of the uh, machines that are uh, relevant and we can go and select that machine uh, that we've just put into uh, a policy. There we go. So there's the uh, machine that we had before. So if I select that, we can now choose the plans to unsubscribe it from. Uh, we only put it into the daily one. So if I choose that and submit it, that will now take that machine out of uh, that particular protection plan. Again, we're submitting that. We're going to get a, a flash bar at the top of the screen in the normal way you do in ServiceNow. I can click here to view it. It'll take us into the request and the request will update uh, as it's going through. OK, finally, then let's have a look at uh, restoring an asset. Again, going back to the service catalog back to the net backup category, choosing this option in the middle of restoring an asset. Again, we just need to choose the uh, asset group. So we're gonna click on uh, VMware for London, and the asset type of uh, VMware as well. Again, we're gonna go away and pull back all the uh, relevant machines that uh, match that criteria. Uh, and then we'll be able to go and uh, look at a setting a recovery point for that machine as well. So we can see we've got a few uh, machines here and we can see statuses of uh, the most recent backups on the right. Uh, so I'm going to go and select this one, DSL1. When I do that, it's going to go away and pull back all of the recovery points that are available for this machine. Uh, so let's uh, select the 10th. Uh, you can see it's filled in the uh, recovery point down here, uh, and it's also pulled in the option to uh, restore it to the original location. Uh, there are options on here to restore it to an alternative location if, if you wish and it'll ask you for further details. There's also options to allow the overwrite and uh, also to power on the machine after recovery. So again, all I need to do is to submit on that. It'll uh, send that request through uh, and we'll see that flash bar. We can click on that 
shortly and uh, we'll be able to monitor that request as it's going through. <coughs> that completes the uh, uh, options that I wanted to cover in this video.